So what is going on Dammers, my name is Mayhul and welcome to the second tutorial for Angular 6 playlist on the web and in this tutorial what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up Angular CLI and our Angular project so that we can actually start working with Angular 6 and create some awesome applications with it. Okay, with that being said, what I want from you is to have something known as node and npm installed on your machine and if it is not installed then what i want is uh, let me just make the text here a little bit bigger what i want is you to follow the link in the description which shows you exactly how you need to um set up node and npm on your machine whether it's linux mac or windows and once that is done what you can do is run npm you should get an output something like this and node v which would give you a node version which you have installed now i know that i'm running a very old version of npm that's because i need to work with react native which kind of doesn't work with npm version 5 onwards so yeah that's the reason once you're done with that, what I want you to do is install Angular CLI. Now, how do you, how to do that? Go ahead and write npm init y, or rather, you can just skip that as well if you want to. Anyways, because we are going to install it globally, so what I want you to do is npm install g, and then at the rate Angular slash CLI at the rate latest. Once you do that hit enter and it will install angular cli for you i have already done that so i'm not going to repeat this step once you're done with this what you have access to is something known as ng now if you write ng v what it would do is it would show you your angular cli version your node version your os type and angular as well angular's version as well if you are in the directory of your project now um, I'm using a beta version of Angular CLI, but uh, you would see a stable release, just the version number here. So, okay, just a sec. So, you would just see a version number here. That should not matter. Okay, so once that's done, what I want you to do is write ng and then new and the name of your project. In our case, it would be intro, right? So let's just say I write intro um, to Angular as a project. So once I do that and hit enter, what it would do is it would start installing packages for um, our project, right? In our case, I have already done this because it's quite long. So um, I have already done that in a directory called intro. So I'm just going to remove intro to angular directory right here and cd into intro now once we cd into this directory what you can do is write ng-v again this time what you can see is that we get angular cli as 1.7 and angular as 6.0.0 beta 3 now what this means is that angular 6 is being used in this directory which is exactly what we want and in your case it would be angular 6 only don't worry if this is angular 5.2.4 then you are um then basically angular 6 is not released as a stable version it's still in beta but you can still follow along with the series because uh, you would only see angular 5.2.4 if you're watching this video um say within one month of its release because that's how long angular 5.2.4 is going to be there as the default installation candidate for angular cli and once you have done that what you want to do is to ng serve hit enter once you do that what it would do is it would start all the web servers webpack um, compression um, local server you can see that it's bundling the modules and it also gave me a url which i can open on my system to access my angular app 
uh, let it just um, process the information. And you can see that Webpack compiled successfully. I can go ahead and um, paste my URL here. And you can see that inside this intro, we get welcome to our app and an Angular logo. So that is all for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we're going to take a look at some file structure or some um, interesting stuff. So see you then and goodbye. And one more thing, if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications.